Welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to create a realistic shadow in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure to watch until the end, so you don't miss any important steps. First, I'll start by importing a vector illustration, or you can create one from scratch if you prefer. Since making a detailed illustration from scratch takes a lot of time, I'll use a ready-made vector from a site called Vecteasy, which is also the sponsor of this video. You'll find the link to Vecteasy in the video description. Once you're on the site, you'll find millions of assets, both free and premium. These include vector graphics like backgrounds, banners, and more. Vecteasy also offers stock photos, videos, and templates for various graphic needs such as business cards, greeting cards, presentation slides, invoices, and much more. In addition, you can explore a wide collection of SVGs, PNGs, and PSDs. To find the illustration for our project, I'll type 2D Character Illustration in the search bar and press Enter. From the results, you'll see hundreds of vector illustrations. I'll select the one that fits our design and download it. After downloading, open the folder and double-click on the file with the encapsulated PostScript extension to open it in Adobe Illustrator. Now that the illustration is open, I'll use the Artboard tool to stretch the canvas and make space for the shadow. Select the illustration, then hold down the Alt key until you see two mouse pointer arrows. While holding Alt, drag the illustration to the left to create a duplicate. Next, go to the Window menu, select Pathfinder, and click on Unite. This will merge the duplicated shapes into a single path. Change the color of this shape to black. Then go to the Effect menu, choose Distort and Transform, and select Free Distort. Now stretch and bend the shape until it looks like a natural shadow. Once done, click OK. Reduce the shadow's opacity to 40%. Apply a gradient and use the gradient tool to adjust it so the top part of the shadow looks lighter. Now, place the original subject over the shadow. If the shadow appears on top of the subject, simply right-click on the shadow, go to Arrange, and select Send to Back. And that's it. You've just created a clean, realistic shadow in a few simple steps. You can also repeat the process to create shadows in different directions. That's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to check out Vecteasy for any type of vector, PSDs, and design assets for your projects. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.